Pamela Hack here from Strata Toscana, and this is Strata TV, where you come for a glimpse at La Bellezza, the beauty of Italian culture. And today we're talking about carta, paper. You know, paper is an incredible thing. Just imagine this. I mean, wrap our brains around this. It's the year 1263, and in the town of Orvieto, they've decided to start building a grand cathedral. Stay with me on this. Five years later, in 1268, in the remote town of Fabriano, in the region of Le Marche, they start making paper. Five years later. So we realize that structures, grand, magnificent structures, like the Duomo, the Cathedral of Orvieto, made before there was paper. No blueprints, no piece of paper to grab and see what you're going to build. That is astounding, right? So in this town of Fabriano, uh, in the year, again, around the year 1268, some Arabs teach the local artisans how to make handmade paper. And from there, those artisans were off and running with that idea. Ingenious. They created a hammer mill so they could grind up rags into bits used as a base for the paper. And they added an animal gelatin. Doesn't smell very good, but it worked really well because when the paper dried, you could actually write on it and it stayed. It didn't decay. Amazing. Before this, there was parchment. Think of that. One page basically coming from one sheep very expensive and not very practical. But the other thing those artisans from Fabriano created, invented, was the watermark. Because when they laid out that paper pulp to dry on the wire frame, they realized that if they made a little design with the wire, it stayed on the paper. Now that was clever because now a noble family could order, right, their own paper with their own watermark. So hard to forge a document when there's a watermark. Really an ingenious way of creating a sort of system with paper that was very, very usable. And now on we go with the story of paper and paper mills started being built throughout Italy. And one area where many, many were built was Amalfi. People go today to enjoy the beauty of the Amalfi Coast and don't even know that if they walk up the mountainside from Amalfi, they'll find all these abandoned paper mills that were used century after century. It's a haunting, beautiful walk to take when you're in Amalfi. But even today, one of the best sources for paper, naturally, is Fabriano. And you get a handmade journal with handmade paper, Fabriano paper, I tell you, that is a treasure. It really is a piece of la bellezza, of Italian culture. I'm Pamela Hack, and if you liked this, comment, share it, and head on over to stratatoscana.com and sign up. You'll get updates and insider info. In the meantime, here's hoping that your travels are infused with La Bellezza. I'll see you next time on Strata TV.